Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number four. And if you want to download this workbook, 135 chapter 00, click on the link below the video. Hey, in our last video, I said we we're going to jump to number formatting, but I have one little trick I want to show you here about ranges of cells. So here we have a column of numbers and we want to add. So the last couple of videos, we learned the keyboard shortcut for the sum function, Alt equals. All right, now notice. It says B2 colon B11. That's called a range of cells. That colon is beautiful because if we ever updated, like putting more expenses here by inserting uh, rows, this would update because it's looking at B2 and B11 and everything in between. Now, when I hit Enter, this is not related directly to the range function, but what is that? It looks like a fence. Somebody put up a fence. I can't see what's there. Anytime you see that, uh, more than likely it's because the column is not wide enough. So you can come up here and you can click and drag. You can also, if it's um, got a fence up, you can double click between B and C and it will best fit. Now I want to do a formula here that a lot, of, I see you see a lot out in the working world because people, you know, haven't learned a lot about Excel. And I see it on tests. And if you do this on the test, it's not correct because we're learning efficient methods for uh, making calculations in Excel. Well, this is what people do. They'll go equals this plus 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 this. Right off the bat, we're always talking about efficiency. You can see it takes too long. So that's one reason not to do it. But here's the main reason. Remember, the beauty of Excel is that I can change a number here, like 80, right? And both of these update. But it's not just cell content. The structure of the spreadsheet can change. The very, very common. You have a list and you're like, oh, man, I forgot insurance. And it has to be, insurance has to be inserted right here. So what you do is you click on the 5, right click, insert. Right? And then you type insurance tab, and let's say it's $500. Now watch. Before I hit Enter, look down here and here. Now watch. I'm going to hit Enter. This one updated. This one didn't. Let's just look at the beauty of a range of cells. It only was looking at B2 to B11. As soon as we inserted something, that B11 automatically got pushed down to B12. So it, it sees everything, including the 500. Now let's look over here. Forget it. These cells are hard coded in and has no way of picking up whether you've changed the structure of the, in, the spreadsheet by inserting uh, a row like that. So please just don't do this. Basically, the, yeah, so it's inefficient for <laughs> speed and updatability. All right, see you next video.